Thaw Barge. You started it, just remember this. The Barge. The Barge. Do we have the misfortune of having any, anyone here from Long Island this evening? Oh, look at the little hands going up. <laughs> Jer I don't care about New Jersey. <laughs> what? I grew up there and I have no idea where it is. <laughs> they are changing the license plate. It's not going to say Garden State anymore. You know that? State of Oblivion now. <laughs> New Jersey, State of Oblivion. Landfill State. Landfill State. No, that's Pennsylvania. I think you might know this song. Is that one I do? Yeah. When I was younger and just leaving high school, my dad asked me what would I be? And just like a fool, I said I'd be a sailor and I would go sailing the sea. So I got me a job on a seagoing tugboat that plied the northeastern shore. After the last job that that tugboat got, well, I'll not be a sailor no more. I'll not be a sailor no more. We picked up a barge in Iceland, Long Island, then headed down through Great South Bay. When I asked the skipper, hey, where are we headed? The old man just wouldn't say. When I asked my deckmates, oh, what's that we're towing? It sure looks like garbage from here. They all looked at me and they nodded quite slowly as we pulled away from the pier. Let us way, hey, sail for the Gulf Stream, sail far away if you will. Iceland, Long Island, and we are upper bound still. Feel free to just jump in if you know it. You know. <laughs> Don't be shy about it, it's okay. Don't be afraid of that tape machine, it doesn't bite. As my friend David Blake, the engineer down at Fox Studios in New Jersey, once said, Pal, you put noise on rust, that's all there is to it. <laughs> We radioed in at Chesapeake Bay, and we called in at Cape Hatteras. But the reply was always the same. Sorry, boys, your cargo don't flatter us. Take your damn garbage to some other port, or just sit there and roll on the swell. But please, tow the damn thing a bit more downwind, lads. The whole town's beginning to smell. Let's way, hey, sail for the Gulf Stream. Sail far away if you will. We're 30 days out of Iceland, Long Island, and we are outward bound still. Now one night, quite unbeknownst to the skipper, our long bill of lading I read. When I found out what we really were hauling, my eyes popped right out of my head. We had 17 tons of lady shoe playboys and 6 tons of cigarette butts. And three and a half tons of castaway band-aids from Long Island kids' little cuts. We had 81 tons of Guns N' Roses posters and 50 of old right guard cans. And 300 tons of you could be a winner with thousands of little Ed McMahons. And this way, hey, sail for the Gulf Street, sail far away if you will. We're 60 days out of Iceland, Long Island, and we are outward bound still. We had 100 tons of just plain household trash and 200 tons of beef bones. And 300 tons of payment past due notes from thousands of old student loans. We had 100 tons of pure kitchen garbage, some of it too gross to mention. And 4,200 tons of old used up condoms, that's 13,440,000 ounces of prevention. My eyes grew wild, my mind started reeling when I saw that we had brought forth about 500 pounds of small shredded paper from the office of Oliver North. And this way, hey, sail for the Gulf Stream, sail far away if you will. We're 90 days out of Iceland, Long Island, and we are upper bound still. Well, now I regret being true to my word and becoming a tug sailing man. If ever we get the hell back to Long Island, I'll give it up as fast as I can. 
from pitching and rolling and heaving and hauling, my heart has grown weary and sore. I'm handing in my slip when we get to Islip, and I'll be a sailor no more.